Okay, that's the banger. I'm literally doing NES right now. The puck's imaginary, Ben. Use your imagination. Oh. Yo. Ooh, Ricky. All right, now my scumbag and me is coming out. Thank you, guys. We found this cart. Finders keepers. So it's Saturday morning and the count for the NES Pursuit right now is totaling 131. Now it may have changed a little from last week. That's because sometimes after the episodes, we go back, we recount, we got to figure out maybe there's some doubles. So we're at 131, but today there's word of some possible sealed CIB NES games. Let's see what happens. All right, check it out, check it out. Ricky already moment one, one off the list, yes. putting us at 132. <laughs> Dianax, a game that is a long-running joke in our in our community. <laughs> NES Complex, back in the day, did an episode of Is It Fun of a Stianax, and to this day we all go, a Stianax! Stianax! Because that's what he did. So look at this though. I'm right here popping off with a bunch of Amiibo. We got ourselves some of the Splatoon Amiibos, a Sheik, but even cooler. Well, of course, this will be on the Nintendo shelf. But then, the Captain Planet, he's our hero, gonna take pollution down to zero. Captain Planet, I hate to break it to you, uh, there's, there's still some pollution. You, you were trying, <laughs> but we're gonna buy this stuff. And get it. Oh, I'm paying 50 bucks for everything, by the way, which is cheap. It's like five bucks a night. Ooh, Ricky, Gold's Gym. If only I worked out. Maybe if I put this on, it'll automatically work out for me. I'm gonna tell you that's how it doesn't work out, but it matches your hat. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Wow. Ricky, is this, this is OG, right? It's OG and it's G. Look at that. Wow. They don't make tags like that anymore. Let me see the back real quick. That is beautiful. Does it say the year? No, I thought it would. But yeah, that is definitely OG. Ricky, banana, -na 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 brown man. Thirty-five, 35 each. Thirty-five each. Are brand new. Okay. Dude, you got any more RPGs? Yep, I just bought two. You got another one? Those are two. I'm just kidding. I'll sell you one, Ricky. <laughs> the same right. price. I'll give it to you when I buy no, it. No, no, it's, like, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah, I definitely. Did you will, see this though? I'll do that. Wow. Yeah, Punky Brewster, dude. That thing is awesome in the box. But let me just show a little love to this real quick. I will admit, I have been waiting, even though Mario RPG is one of my favorite games of all time, I've been waiting simply for the fact that, well, plain and simply, I was hoping they'd make a collector's box, but they didn't. But the rest of these are all sealed. I'm in. What? Let's, I'm literally doing NES right now. There you go. Dusty just comes over, clutch. The box, is the game in there, do we know? No. No? Okay. Up, uh, wow, well. Clutch. Curtis, what else is in here? I'm one-handed uh, man yeah, right now. No, this is all the parts. This okay. the oh, this, this is wrong. Yeah. Um, so what'd you want for all this, do you know? I mean, I don't know if Curtis was might have been interested no. in Rob as well, or... I was going to say two off, For all of it? Yeah. Okay, let me look it, because I have not looked in years on this kind of thing. I think... So So I got Dusty to go down to 150, which is... It's like, if you get all of this in this condition, we're kind of looking at like 200 or so. He's kind of giving me the box, but I got him down to 150, so still paying under. But the condition on the gyros is just in super clean shape. Rob the robot, I've said it before, but if you've never heard me say it before, it is something I played with as a kid. It wasn't just like an accessory or something that came with Nintendo, we used it. You didn't know, just for, you never know, people don't know. Rob says for robotic operating buddy. Rob the robot, and now I have a complete Mario 3 because this is box only. Oh, and I am buying these from Brian as well, so. So I know it's hard to see, but this is exciting. So I get to go to my copy that I have in loose and change it to CIB right there. And now I hit save CIB copy added of Mario 3. What is happening over here? I'm going over here, people. I see uh, my friend Ricky standing over here. Let's see. What is it? I'm trying to get over there, Ricky. I'm trying to come over. Let me see. What is it? Ooh, the smoke, oh, the smoke. Yo, someone asked for this on whatnot. <laughs> Cops, <laughs> bad boys. Ooh, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes sealed as well. But Ricky with the smoke gray. Let's go, Ricky. How much are you paying for all this? This sack. Uh, 140 for everything. 140 for everything. Look at this, man. So Ricky's bringing over uh, that, and I just looked in our cart, and there's some other things in there that Ricky didn't even show. Ricky. Um, so, yeah, I got what one. is this? So I got two of them. Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. And you didn't even say a word. 
Look at so, this. So, guys, I just got these two fantastic... Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> There's also a GameCube, Ricky. You oh. know, I'm just glad Ricky's starting the NES Pursuit the way it used to be. Nothing on camera. <laughs> just <laughs> hiding away everything, oh, not showing any of the deals. Freaking Ricky. I see Dusty hiding stuff in between oh, his cars. That thing's cool. It's the Japanese one. Dang, that is awesome. I love the shape of it. I'm in love with the shape of you. Yeah, guess the name of it. Uh, Soundwave. Yes, good job, dude. Let's go, dude. I learned my stuff from hanging around you long enough. Pretty sweet, man. Dusty said I'll give it to you for 48 cents. Up, Dang, I'll take it. Thanks, Dusty. Ooh, Curtis. What? I found you this Harley hat. Here you go, man. It's a Harley hat. Oh, <laughs> just kidding. That's so That's jacked up. <laughs> no, stop it. You stop. A lot of stuff at this booth. Haven't been here. Uh, some Genesis Monopoly, but then also check this. Ooh, baby. Fusion, Turtles Ooze, Sonic Mega Collection. There's definitely some stuff here. Metroid Fusion, and this. This graded. It's so fun just because it looked great on the Mario wall. You do anything if I bought both, or? Um, let's have 50, um, I'll go 45. Cool, sure. And look at Ben. Ben was just sneaking away over here, price and stuff. I know what you're talking let's about. Let's go, Sega CDs. They got the Miss Pac-Man, a little too beat yep. for me, but did you uh, pick? decide on picking up any of those? So I think uh, maybe getting these guys. Okay, what is that, Stellar Fire and Stellar Soccer? Fire, cool. Tomcat Alley. And then we got some more games over here. Nothing I need, nothing I need. Today is one of those days where every booth we have been to has been cool nostalgic stuff. Like we haven't not had a good booth yet, which is crazy. All right, y'all. So I walked away with Metroid Fusion and this card because I thought it would go great on the NES Pursuit wall because, you know, it's OG NES days. Um, but basically, I got both for 45 bucks and that's just the cost of this alone. So awesome, awesome, awesome. I don't even need Metroid Fusion, so I got this basically for free. What was it, Curtis? What was it? You said you saw an NES game. Oh, oh it is one I have. have. Great game, but I do have it. And to be honest, it's a little beat. Sun faded a little but, bit. But hey, good, good try, my friend. This thing's thank probably you, got more sun th than me. Thank you for trying on me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that thing's seen the sun for sure. Again, guys, literally the next booth is just another booth full of cool, nostalgic stuff. Nothing that's looking like I'm going to need, like a musket. Ooh, there's NES controllers right there. Might go around and grab those. And I'm going to keep poking around. Ricky, what? What was that? What's up, bro? What? 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 Ricky, what in the world were you drinking from? I was not drinking out of anything. You're disgusting. I saw you feeding from that. You sick man. Ooh, what is that, Ricky? They're like the WWF figures uh, stands. I couldn't find the figures, but hey. Psh, figures. Ask how much. Denise! Let's see. Guess the price. Guess what he's going to say. Five each. I hope not. I hope it's like five. Five for three. Oh, <laughs> whoops. Ask. Let's see. How much, really? Oh, I got it right. He got it right. Ding, 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 ding. Boy, Ricky's stealing. Oh, no, no, man. Curtis, call him out. Get him, get him. Ricky, there you go, bro. $150, he said. What? For a PS5? Box. I was kidding. No, you didn't say 150 bucks. I'm just kidding. Even if it was there, I'm like, eh. It's empty. Oh, God. Oh, look cool. It works good. This is awesome. Look how far he goes down. Ooh. I would, I would 100%. The puck's imaginary, Ben. Use your imagination. Yo, this okay. guy's the best. Oh, look at this guy. Look, <laughs> look. <laughs> Let's go. The next booth, again, every booth has had video games. This yeah. is kind of crazy. Ooh, hot I love this game. Match and Clank, all for one. It's in there. Um, you know who invented alternating current? Uh, Nikolai Tesla. That's true. How about direct current? Uh, that was, uh, Buddy Cat. Thomas Edison. Oh, okay. Come on, Benjamin. Benjamin, gotta catch him all. Hey, how much for this Genesis? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, creepy. <laughs> Crawlers, that's the bug maker. If you didn't grow up getting to play with creepy crawlers where you make your own bugs, you missed out on a life, a life of fun. This was like one of the funnest things to do as a kid. I wonder right if there. this one, the, the ones you can eat. Those were the best. Dude. I'll be honest, as a kid, I think I just ate them anyway. I wonder if they're even 
I thought you were like bad for you. Like now nowadays we're gonna find Do you see stuff. how I've ended up? I'm sure they weren't good for you. <laughs> so the swap meet has been pretty unreal so far today. Every single booth we're going to has had games and rare stuff and nostalgic items, but we're getting wind that those CIB sealed NES games, yeah, they're here. And I think we're gonna have some dibs on them. <laughs> Let's go. This looks familiar. Graham pulling out a box. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah. Priority box. Priority box. Let's see. What's see it going to be? Benjamin, let's oh, see. Man. This video is not sponsored by Strictly Limited, but if I have to be honest, they just sent me a ton of freaking games. Oh my gosh, Strictly Limited has some of the most beautiful things, and let me be 100% honest. Did they send me this stuff? Yes, they did. Am I getting paid to do it? Absolutely Whoa. not. Do I have a code to give you guys a discount? I do. But Strictly Limited has the kind of stuff that like you don't even need a sponsorship for because it's freaking unbelievable. Okay, we're gonna open this Wild Guns. So if you watch the original NES Pursuit, even though it's not NES, we were always looking for Wild Guns. It was like Ricky's mission every episode. I'm looking for Wild Guns. So now I can open the Strictly Limited sealed one. All right, a nice little cut to start the, the open right here. Let's pop this puppy open. You know, it's not very often that you feel justified in opening a sealed retro game, so this is like the next best thing, and I kind of forgot that feeling. I mean, that's good. That, that's, that's real good. <laughs> this, is, this is awesome. Look at that. It doesn't get much closer to the original. Again, I'm not getting paid for this, but if you guys want a little discount yourself, go down to the link down in the description and you can use code PGS5 is what they got set up for you guys and they promised to hook you guys up. Uh, thank you to them. That was so awesome. Strictly limited. This is this is freaking rad. Benjamin, let's oh, see. Look at these things. Oh, baby. Oh, boy. Look at that. Oh, wow. Protectors and Wampum. all. Okay, let's go one by one. Wampum, beautiful. Fantastic freaking game. So underrated as far as gameplay goes. So underrated. Wolverine. Wolverine, not my favorite game, but Ben's super gonna go awesome. crazy over this one. Ooh, oh yeah. Tetris, but Tengen. Two players. Dang, baby. Two that players. is a good one. Super Spy Hunter. Pricey game. Even loose, even loose, this is a pricey game. Yeah. Okay, that's the banger. I love Jackie Chan. Whoa. So, Jared, right now, Mr. Editor, throwing some gameplay. And came back. You guys know this has such a good, the soundtrack is one of those soundtracks that's like a feel good soundtrack. Is it sealed? No. It's not sealed, but this is oh, a sealed good soundtrack. Oh, that's Dang. coming. This one's sealed. That's sealed. Roger Clemens, MVP baseball. But hey, this is sealed too? No, just box. Oh, geez, box. King's Quest. I thought there was more sealed to be honest, but so what's sealed? King's Quest five. Okay. This is the one I know, it's like Aaron's favorite, when I hear Aaron's favorite. You wanna sell me this one, bro? Monster in my pocket. <laughs> The gameplay is like so much like Batman. It's what it feels like, like when you play the game. Oh, look! Look how weird this is. I never realized that. What? What is so this? There's, there's, there's supposed to be a toy for it, right, Graham? Yeah. Is it in there? No. How do they fit like, it in there? <laughs> what? Three hundred thousand bucks just for the toy. I never knew that toy was supposed to be in there. Now it's a new thing to look for. There the we more go. You know, internet. Cool, dude. Hey, get that man! I have your keys. Ooh, he said he's pulling out another item. What can it be now? Oh, that's sick. What is that? Little stamp. Oh, that's stamp. awesome. Those are rad. Dude, Dude that's like dope. Sheet off of bam, bam, Brett, Diesel. That is awesome, dude. That but is the super cool. Part. Uh oh. Uh oh. He said the coolest part is what's it gonna be? A poster. A poster. Oh, Lex Yo, Luger. that's actually sick. <laughs> Free gift from with the rental. rental unit. That's so Anything cool. from like rental type stuff is so rad. That's fantastic. That's so cool. Sticky still that still there. There you go. Are you giving that to him? Yeah. This that is, is, this is I promise it's real. Fire. This is awesome. that, let me see the back. My goodness. I used to have one like that. Those are those are bangers. That's awesome, dude. Sheesh. What? Oh, oh, look at that random, Yo, beautiful trade. Oh, that is awesome. What a freaking blessing. That's awesome. So this is the best. This guy walks around with birds playing on a radio, but there's no birds. He just carries a radio and it plays birds. He's awesome. What a legend. If it makes him happy, you know, whatever. Ricky, of the games you got, you know we got to play the game. If you could only pick one to keep, 
to keep in the collection to play, which would it be? Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan, Jackie okay. Chan. This one's, I've had it, I lost it, and now I have it again. Actually, my original one, Ben has it. I gave it to Ben. Oh, that's my nice of you. One. I struggle with mine, so I've beaten this game, I'm not even joking, probably like six times. I beat it last year again as well. I don't know if I would go with Monster in my pocket though as the player. Would you go Wampum? So, Monster in my pocket, Wampum, and Jackie Chan are the three best games to play, in my opinion. So, those games in hand. I thought more were gonna be sealed, I'm gonna be honest with you, but most of them were just CIB, but perfect CIB. But with that, Ricky, do the honors. This puts us at 140 NES games. Jeez. Curtis, look, a random cart full of Wii stuff. Let's just steal it. Hey, thank you guys. We found this cart, finders keepers. <laughs> Bye, Tony. Bye, Austin. Bye, Joe. I just love that full of Wii stuff. Hey, bro, what's your favorite game to play, boy? Um. Oh, I like this new camera. You, you like that? Wow. Sheesh, I'm wow, upgrade now. Hey, bro, you make a great TikToker. It's still following you. You can't escape this camera. Oh, oh, yo, yo. Ricky, Ricky did a surprise pickup and didn't tell me he got these. Grand Theft Auto V and Texas Chainsaw, but on the PS5. Let's go. Not too often PS5 games lying around with the swappers. <laughs> Ricky, guess where we're going? Sorry, man. You where couldn't escape it. You tried to escape Del Taco this time. I did try to escape it. But yeah. the, the vote came in. The boys said Del. I knew we were going to go there because of that sweater this morning. Once we saw that Del sweater. Oh, Ricky found a Del Taco sweater earlier. We should have we bought that. Why didn't we? That was stupid. That was what a, we said. Let's go back. Yeah. So now we are officially back at Del Taco. Ooh. Here for... Holy moly. Benji. What? What? what is this? What are we doing? These are my contribution to the NES Pursuit. Are you for real? For realsies. Ben, you know what's silly? We don't have those yet. I don't understand how you don't have We're these. We're three you episodes over, in. You got three digits of NES cards, but not these? Come on. It is a little bit of a weird reality. No, right? With three episodes, and you feel like we got the Mario. They're not right? even like rare or super expensive. Adventure of Link. Uh, can I buy them off you, though? Can I give you money for them so I don't feel yeah. like a scuzzball? This, this is my contribution to my favorite series of all time, my man. These two games, that put them at 142. We are in the NES Pursuit room, by the way, still in progress, still in progress, still in progress, everything's still in progress, but Ricky actually said that he wanted to split these with me, because when Ricky bought them from Graham, the way he did the deal was he bought all of them straight out. I think he paid 800 bucks, which is, by the way, a fantastic deal. Yeah, it's a great deal. Like 500 bucks off what retail would be, so we're going to split it, and then we're going to kind of split the games and kind of Rochambeau and see who takes what. So what we did is we literally put them in order from most expensive to least expensive. They're all over $100, every single one. Um, and I'll show you guys. Coming in the top, we got Tangent Tetris. These are literally $1 apart in price range. Jackie Chan and Spy Hunter, and then Monster in My Pocket, then Wampum, then Wolverine. Which is funny enough, these are actually the best games, which is really cool. That's not usually the case. The best games are not normally the ones at the top. Ricky, you set this up with Graham, so I'm guessing you're just gonna go for value. Uh, it's up to you. Uh, uh, I have to go with Jackie. I know it's least expensive, but that's what I was gonna go with. <laughs> I don't blame you. Um, yeah, I I hate to admit, but I'm not going for value. I'm going monster in my pocket. Oh dang! I had to. I'm not going for value still. I'm gonna go for a Wampa. <laughs> oh, Ricky! All right, now my scumbag in me is coming out. I am going for value now. I am gonna go for Tengen Tetris. That's crazy, that's the most expensive one. So now, there we go, that's the remainder. <sighs> Spy Hunter's good though. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go Wolverine. There we go, Wolverine. King's Quest. King's Quest, and then this one we'll literally just put in both of our names. <laughs> just so people know, we have our games in price charting. At, we put our names next yeah. to them, like who's they are. And some of them, like we were talking in the car, we might have to buy Little Samson together one day, because I don't know if we're gonna want to yeah. pull a thousand dollars on one game. So like this one is literally just gonna say Riff and Ricky on there, and it will be both of our games. Actually, I think that's yours, because there's one missing. You only have three. I feel dumb. <laughs> that one's mine. Wow, I am dumb. 
So in the end, there is Ricky Stack, Super Spy Hunter, Jackie Chan, Wampum, King's Quest, Mine, Monster in My Pocket, fantastic. Tengen Tetris, fantastic because it's two players. And then Wolverine and Roger Clemens, sealed. All right, I'm checking out Monster in My Pocket because I've never owned it CIB and I'm curious where that figure would have gone. Where would this have gone, Ricky? Look at this. It says the figure, exclusive Konami monster inside. Where would it have even gone? Oh look, the manual does show. Have one of your free exclusive monster, your free exclusive monster from your friends at Konami. Mint condition, by the way. Mint condition, by the way. Ricky, I don't, oh, here's where it would've gone. The cardboard is a half piece. Oh. So it probably would've went next to it. It's that's pretty cool. Piece. Yeah, wow, that's awesome. I have to point out my copy of Tengen Tetris. Look at that. Fully, fully real, true CIB with the big poster and everything, the Tengen mail-in, the manual, the insert for uh, the sleeve, Tetris and Tetris, unreal. And Ricky's going through Wampum. Looking good, Ricky, it's looking beautiful. That is such Dude, a good game. This is clean. Is it? Let me see, let me see, let me see. Look at, look at how crispy they are. I don't, think you, I don't think they ever took it out. Yeah, most play. of these games don't look like they've ever been played. This is fantastic. Yo. This is fantastic, Ricky. Oh, doesn't even look like anyone touched it. Wompy. Hey, dog. Hey, dog. Hey, dog. Bye, dog. Let's freaking go. Look at this. So great. Oh, this is such a good feeling. Finding a box to complete it. Mario 3, there we go, Mario 3, has found its home. Oh yes, oh yes! It feels good! There it is. Shima Darn it. And then, and then I just remembered, I just remembered we got Zelda and Zelda 2 from Ben. And because of our miniboxgaming.com, again, we have the boxes for him. Ricky, you do the honors and slip those puppies in. They're no oh. longer naked. These They're are looking nice. beautiful. Look at that. There we go. Yeah. We're feeling good. We're feeling good. Oh yeah. That Rob from this morning, boom. Look at that. All in its complete functionality, ready to go. I know the NES controller, I think it goes the other way. But yeah, it looks beautiful. It's all there. You got the back, you got the front, you got the buttons, you got the gyros. This is what I'm talking about. Just wanted to give you guys a current look at the NES set right now. Again, not all of these, I gotta point that every time, have games in them, but the majority do that are up here. So we're working on it. We, you guys know the count, 142, and now it's time. 